A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them. For then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look this small like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, another day in this 11th week of Ordinary Time and another lesson about love. Jesus uh, centers in on three tools that he himself gave us as God to strengthen our love, to practice our love, to put it into practice. And that is prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. But today he warns us, he says, it's very easy to fall into the trap of instead of using these as tools to love, to strengthen my love, that we use them as tools to prove ourselves to others, to God, to myself. For example, we might have a very good routine of prayer, of fasting, where we say, Tuesday and Friday I fast, and uh, I pray three times a day, at this time, at this time, and at this time. And I hold myself very rigorously to what I said, to the promise I gave to God and myself. And great, that's a, a way of strengthening your self-discipline but not necessarily strengthening your love. Because Jesus asked today, what are the intentions? What are the reasons why you're doing this? And he explains that if these are tools to strengthen love to us, they should strengthen and be an answer to God's love. And love should not be something that is forced. God doesn't do love. God is love. And that's why our prayer, our almsgiving, our fasting, yes, they need to be planned out because we live in a temporal world and time is something we have to schedule. But the intention of why we're doing it needs to be as a result of love, as an answer to God's love and not something that I have to keep because I planned out, because I've enslaved myself to it. A loving mother doesn't need to think or plan that today I have to feed my kids three times. Today, at this time, I will give my child a hug. No, they just do it naturally. Because of love. And yes, you have to plan out the meal. But the reason why you're doing it, that you love your kids and you're taking care of them, is more than just natural. A hug is just a result that I needed just as much as you. And that's what our prayer, our almsgiving and fasting should be. I need it because it's my way of showing that I love you, God. May our practices of piety be fruits and show fruits of love. But if I find myself doing something and I'm not changing for the better, I have to go back to the drawing board and ask God what he wants of me. Have a blessed Wednesday. And today, with gratitude, that we are opening, even if with small groups, our churches for Mass, as communities, we will be gathering. 
And let's thank God for that. Have a blessed Wednesday.